Good morning, Coffee Clatchers. It is Thursday, June 10th, I think. Yes, because today is the last day of school um, for Miss Ella. So um, thanks for joining me here this morning again. Um, this is Sarah with stinkingcutecards.com, and I have a very sweet little card for you today using plentiful plants. So um, as you pop on here, um, let me know what you got going. Good morning, Mardell. Um, last day of school for you as well, or did you, you guys finished early, I think. So anyways, um, life is good. I'm going to flip you guys around and get started on this cute little card. Um, let's see. I, I should do housekeeping quick. Um, yesterday was the last day to sign up for Stamp Camp, which is next weekend, um, June 19th. Um, rummage is open from 9 to 1 to the public. Um, so again, if you missed registration for camp and still want to come, um, I haven't sent out the totals to my my team yet, so um, call you know text me, call me, um, whatever by noon, and we can still get you registered up. So, um, stamp camp is coming up next weekend. Um, that's basically DoorDash. The st sweet strawberry DoorDash registration ends on the twentieth for that one. So, that's what I got going. I'm oh, and um, starting next week, I I debated long and hard about this. Um, starting next week. I am going to do Coffee Clatch at 10.30. Here's my reasoning, and I'll send out a newsletter today. Um, I completely forgot about um, Coffee Clatch, and I was typing up my newsletter. And um, So next week, starting next week, we're gonna go Coffee Clatch Summer Hours. Um, simply because if I do um, Coffee Clatch at nine, by the time I'm done with Coffee Clatch, it's really hot out in the garden, and um, <laughs> I don't get a whole lot done. So my my theory is, and I'm going to try it here for June, is I'm going to get out in the garden early, get my weeding and picking whatever done, and then um, come back in, clean up, and get ready and do coffee clatch at 1030. Um, you know, give me some feedback. Let me know how that works for y'all. Um, but that way you guys can sleep in. You don't have to worry about getting up early and um, having coffee clatch. <laughs> That's usually when I have my coffee anyways. So, um, let, we'll, we'll see how it works. We'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll figure it out. So I'm going to flip you guys around. We're going to get this cute little card going and um, life is good. All right. So like I said, I was typing away on my, um, my newsletter for today and at quarter to nine, I was like, Oh, I forgot clatch. And so I threw it together a quick layout and, um, we're going to work this together. Um, this is using, I used the wisp, uh, basic white uh, card base. I use some of this gorgeous paper. It is so fun. It's very boho, very, you know, kind of trendy. Um, I really kind of like it. It coordinates with that plentiful plants and many of the dyes also cut out some of the images. So we'll probably work with that tomorrow, well, sometime here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add that here. So starting next week, Coffee Clatch will be at 10.30. That will give me some time to, um, you know, get some weeding done in the garden while it's still somewhat not miserable. So, all right. So I have some more of this designer paper, which is kind of fun. On the back side, it's got little images that your dyes could cut out. You guys need this set as well. It's called Plentiful Plants. It's super fun. But we're going to stamp just a sweet little pot right here on... That's another thing that I have to do tomorrow is I gotta figure, I gotta finish planting the pots on the porch. Some of them are a little little lame and haven't um, transferred over from the spring. So, all right. So then what we're gonna do is I am just going to, you know, my blocks are kind of overkill. <laughs> They're all in my buffet buckets, so I have to make do with what I got. All right, so we're gonna stamp, a, and because this is photopolymer, I can line that up without masking. Pretty pretty good gig there. All right, and then Georgette is going to come into the mix here, and we are going to die cut a sweet little macrame hanger. Ella is all into these, you know, macrame. I, I remember my as a kid, my mom doing macrame, and so this is kind of fun. I feel like it's get this lined up for you. So Ella's all into it too, so it's it's kind of cute. So, all right, send this through. Okay. 
All right, and so for, the, let's see here. Get that set aside. So here is where this is gonna go. This is gonna go like this, right on here. And I could definitely add my little macrame hanger right here. Now, um, I kind of think I wanted this a little less. I mean, not as, not as big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my scissors, cut here, here, and here, and then cut again. Do a little better job. So now I have kind of a little baby hanger and it fits the image quite cutely. <laughs> I know, right, Ruby? It was huge. I remember my mom doing it. Um, it's all the rage again. Everything comes around, right? Okay, so we're going to add that right here. This paper is really fun. Very boho. Hey, flat. The dogs are... Snuffling. All right, so um, with my other one, I, um, you know, we could easily add some gems or, you know, some beads on here to make it look real cute. I wanted the quick little love you on there because I have something fun to show you. All right, let's add the little love you. And I think it is right here. probably a little too wide so we can always trim that up a little bit okay and that's crooked look at that gracious there we go all right I'm grabbing my little baby trimmer we just want to add make this a little smaller okay and I have my flag punch here. I don't. We're just going to use the scissors to banner it. But I have something fun to show you. Okay. All right. So we're just going to add that right here. And we are going to use dimensionals to pop that off. Now, in the spring catalog, there was, um, there is these um, resin hearts embellishments. And they are super cute. So, um, and the cool part is, is because they're on the retiring list, they are 50% off. So if you didn't get some of these, I would highly recommend it. Because how cute is that just to take one of these little resin hearts and add it right here. Just the cute little love you. What a cute little birthday card. I mean, how cute is that? So these are only $3.50, they're 50% off. So head on over to my website and um, stinkingcutecards.com. There's a link there um, for you to go ahead and um, order online or you know, shoot me an email or a text. I can you know, add them to the order that I got going in um, here shortly, but super cute. They come in both red and white. Let me show you, um, this was the card that we did last week. I added the little white ones here. Um, also, this was a card that I got in a swap from, I can't, don't even know who sent this one, but look at how cute that is. Um, it was added to the sheltering tree um, as like little apples, super cute. Um, as well as um, you can use your blends and you can color them to be whatever color you want. Um, I also went to the dollar store um, and got the, the really cheap permanent markers. Um, perhaps your um, making a card for the breakup of your summer romance and you want black hearts, you know, that's an option as well. You know, who knows, you might need them. <laughs> they would be cute on a scrapbook page, um, you know, something you know, kind of fun. So again, the white ones can be colored, um, any color you need, but I just thought that was super cute um, to go ahead and add some, you know, a little bit of fun to your, your cards. So. That is the Plentiful Plants. It is actually one of the, um, this isn't the card, but we are using the stamp set in camp coming up. The card is super stinking cute. And last but not least, I did put out a 
a little uh, blurb about the In Color Club. I know we talked about it last week, um, but this is the card. This is the first um, installment of In Color Club, and I know several of you have reached out to me and jumped on that bandwagon. So more information will be in your newsletter today. You all have a very merry day. Um, stay warm. Stay cool. <laughs> stay cool and um, stay stamping. Thanks, friends.